Hello and welcome back to AmbiV. I'm Casper and today we're going to take a look at the downside that most people don't talk about about installing LED headlights in classic cars. Today we are talking about the LED headlights that I install on classic cars and some of the downsides that come along with it. So when you talk about the positives to having LED headlights in a classic car, the two most common are that they're much brighter than the original OEM halogen headlights, and they're also much lower draw. Now the benefit to the lower draw on the electrical side of the components is that most classic cars send the power for the headlights through a switch. In the case of the 67 Mustang behind me, that switch is a simple multi-stage switch. In the case of my Z cars, that switch is a combination stock which is almost irreplaceable because of how limited they are in supply now. They are also extremely complicated and likely to fail. So replacing the headlights in that car actually buy you more time by reducing the strain on that component. Now the downsides most people don't talk about with LED headlights is the cost. So you can buy cheap Chinese knockoff headlights that usually have a plastic covering, will crack or turn yellow within a year or two of being installed, but I don't want something so cheap on my car when that's one of the major safety systems. If you're going to use your classic car regularly throughout the year, you need to be able to actually drive it, which means actually being able to take it out when it's dark and rainy. With these Delta headlights that I install, these are a very high quality glass headlight and they are amazingly bright, but without being illegally so, like those H4 bulbs they sell on the counter of auto zones. These things are actually DOT approved quality headlights, but they do still have some drawbacks. One particular drawback is the cost. These headlights can cost between $160 and $200 a piece. And while that's great because LEDs may not burn out, and if you're not really using your classic car all the time, it probably isn't that significant of a use anyway, the one drawback you do have to suffer, even if they're not being used regularly, is that they can be broken. Now this headlight came out of the 1967 Mustang, and a very small rock was able to hit in just the right location to crack the headlight. And this same problem can happen with the factory halogen headlights, but in this situation, instead of costing me $20 to $40, it cost me $160 to $200, and typically these are sold in pairs. Now, this isn't thin glass. The glass that shattered here is quite thick. The camera probably can't pick it up, but this is a very thick piece of glass. It simply had a very unlucky stone strike. In response to the destroyed headlight, you can see one of the upgrades I chose to make here on the Mustang. This is a cheap wire grill that I was able to source off eBay that simply goes over your headlight assembly and provides a small gap between the wire and the headlight to dissipate energy of something incoming to the glass surface. Now, obviously it's not super tight mesh, so small things will still impact the headlight, but in order to break the thick glass of this headlight, whatever is coming toward it must be fairly large, and this screen will suffer the damage instead of the headlight in most situations. These were probably about $12 on eBay. I don't remember what shipping was. But compared to the cost of the headlight, they're dirt cheap, and they do look pretty cool for being somewhat period correct. There were a lot of cars in the 60s and 70s that you would see headlight protectors on. Now, they also just snap into place, so you can remove them easily if you don't like the look and you're gonna be just driving around town, or if you're taking them on road trips like I do with this car quite often, you can put them in place and have a better confidence in not destroying your headlights following other cars through the twisty mountain roads. The other option you have, if you simply want to be able to get an insurance policy against headlights being broken, is you could put some of the 3M protectant vinyl wrap over the top of the headlights, something nice and clear that won't obscure the lens too much. That will allow the headlights to continue to function and if you do suffer damage, will hold the glass together long enough that you can continue to drive and get to a new location before you replace the headlight. More often than not, when the glass breaks, the unit itself continues to, fun to function just fine, especially in the case of these LED headlights in which the LED element is at the very far back of the cone. So there you have a brief video on the biggest con I've had with my LED headlights so far. 
Overall, I would highly recommend upgrading the headlights in your classic car, whether that's with a good HID kit or LED headlights. In my mind, the LED headlights have far more pros than cons simply because they require no significant changes to the wiring and they are incredibly bright compared to the factory units. If you intend to use your car regularly at night or during bad weather, this is a huge upgrade you should do. Simply apply something to protect them proactively instead of once you've had to buy more sets like I did. So thank you all for watching. If you have any information you would like to know, just leave a question in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.